Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. For this video, I have a 15.6 inch Lenovo G50 laptop. It's got a broken power button. Somebody, the customer hit it really hard and the button underneath here is broke. This button here is still good. You can see it's a little damaged here. Um, so I have to, we have to get into it and I'm gonna put a new power button. This is what it looks like. It's going on the inside underneath. I take out the keyboard, take the palm rest off. But there's a little bit of finagling we got to do to get to what we got to do. So first thing is the keyboard will have to come out, but we have to remove some screws first. So I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, I've already taken the screws out on the bottom here. I've already taken these main screws out. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight screws. And then we're going to slide this panel off here you just kind of pull it back after you get these screws out in the front we're going to get rid of that and then um, we're going to remove the hard drive first so there's uh, this one the guys already had it out so apparently oh that's interesting his screws aren't even holding this hard drive in should be four mounting screws here so I'm going to back this out we're going to get rid of the hard drive that wasn't screwed in but I'll take care of that so we're going to get rid of the hard drive and I'm going to remove the battery on the back here. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, a little tricky. And then there's two screws underneath the battery compartment right here that we have to get rid of. I'm going to use my trusty cordless for that. those with the battery there's a couple of different size screws here so remember which which is which now the keyboard there's three screws for the if you're just replacing the keyboard or taking the keyboard out there's three screws there's one here there's one here and there's one underneath the warranty seal right here so we're going to go ahead and remove those real quick so we can get that keyboard out of there now these screws inside underneath here are a lot smaller than the main screws around the perimeter here so let's Keep those separated. All right, that's undone. It's just in there because the warranty tape is holding it in there, but it's disconnected. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to flip it back over, and we're going to get the keyboard out. Now you need a very, very thin little tool here. If you get in close here. You can see along the top edge of the keyboard there's a very small little seam here so we have to get a very thin tool here to get in there um, you can use a plastic tool and this I've done a million of these so I have a very very special thin little metal tool here so let's get the screen just be careful of your screen but we got the screws out so I'm just gonna get it in and put a little pressure on it and it comes right up get your finger in there and then just kind of work it loose on the tabs here it comes out pretty easy Got to remember to take those screws out. So that's it. So now we have to disconnect it from the motherboard right here. This little white clip right here. We're going to flip this up just like that. Remove the keyboard. That's it. <clears throat> now this is the connector that goes to our switch right here. This little connector on the motherboard. So we're going to flip this up and we're going to also disconnect this one here for the touchpad on the motherboard. Flip the little lever up. We're going to pull these out. Just like that. So we're going to close the lid back up. Now we're going to get the optical drive out. There's one screw right here that holds the optical drive in. That's the same size as these other screws for the keyboard over here. Should slide right out just like that. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> and we have a screw right here that we have to take out right by this empty RAM slot. There's a screw right there. Put that over there. 
Again, these screws are underneath the panel here are all the same. They're, they're just a, a smaller diameter. Now, on this model, we actually have to remove the cooling pan. There's three screws. There's one here, one here, and one right here. And we're going to unplug it from the motherboard right here. So I'm going to unplug it. Be careful. Just like that. I'm going to take these three screws out. If you were replacing just your cooling pan, it would be pretty easy repair. Let's pull that palm rest off. We have to get rid of this. So we'll get our little plastic tool in here, get a hold of that. There's our cooling pan out of the way. <clears throat> and don't forget to subscribe and watch all my other videos. That'd be great. So now we're going to uh, just make sure I got all my screws. Yes. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to lift this off. So we're going to have to get that started right along the front seam here. I'm going to get my little tool in here, hopefully. Get it started here. As long as you got all your screws out, it shouldn't take a whole lot of pressure to get this off. Be patient. So I get my fingernail on there. Kind of work it up gently. All right. So there's our palm rest. We're gonna gently move that out of the way. <clears throat> and right here's the right here's the switch that we're gonna replace. So there's just one screw right here we have to take off to get this mushed up switch out of here. Just, oop, just like that. We usually have a little sticky stuff on there, so. So there's our bad switch. Right here is the actual switch right here that when you press the knob on the top, it depresses this, but this one's just, it's broken. So let's get that out of the way. And we'll put the new switch in. All right, guys. Let's tell you about that. It was giving me a little bit of trouble. Um, when you put the new power switch back in, you have to be mindful on the, on the end of this. There's a little teeny tiny little reset switch there because on the outside here, there's a reset button. You got to just make sure you have to kind of put this in at an angle slightly and push down and then put your screw in. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and try to get that in there just like that. Put our screw back in it. All right, so we're good to go there. You just got to make sure you get that kind of in at that angle and then down and put your screw in, okay? And we got this good. We put our palm rest back on. And get these up out of the way here. So that's how you put a new switch on a Lenovo G50 laptop. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> snap that back in. Got a nice solid click there. That's what we wanted. So I don't forget, I'm going to connect these ribbon cables real quick. Come on in close here so we can see. You gotta flip these little levers up, guys, to put these back in. Push down. Make sure your black line there is lined up right to the end of the clip. This one's a little trickier for the touchpad. Just gotta get them in straight before you clip them down. They don't always cooperate. <clears throat> there, just like that. And that looks good. And we got our keyboard. Got to reconnect that. Got to make sure your lever's up. 
again this kind of only goes in one way push the lever down make sure it's lined up to the line there which it is you don't want it in at a funky angle snap this back down in place there close the lid Alright, so now put our fan back in. I'm gonna connect it first. There's no more room here. And to just do everything in reverse now. Perfectly your motherboard. Three screws to hold the CPU fan in. Gonna cheat and use my cordless. Don't get many of these Lenovo type laptops. This model, these G50s with a broken power switch, but the person that owns this got mad and punched it with the end of a pencil or a pen or something, and they just broke the switch. So we got that hooked back up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my two battery screws back in here in the battery compartment. Couldn't do that if I tried. You can buy those switches like that online, of course. I'll put a link down below so you can go check it out. You can get them in lots of different places. Um, so, actually, I gotta do these. Hold our keyboard in. This isn't rocket science, people. You just gotta kind of be careful when you're working with this stuff. And always get your batteries out of the way. I'm almost still in there. Got one more over here. Go ahead and put this back in. Lock it in place. Don't worry about that hard drive right now. Um, before I do anything, just gonna grab my power cord real quick. Like I said, if you like my videos, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe, that would be great. So there, we'll put the rest of our screws back in the bottom there and we got a good power switch. You can see that it powers on now. I'm gonna put the hard drive back in. I'll have to get the screws for that for whatever reason. They weren't in there. So somebody's been poking and prodding around. I'll take care of it. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.